Welcome back to Sporns Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make mushroom culture slants for long term storage. Culture slants are preferred over agar plates for long term storage because the thick agar at the bottom helps prevent it from drying out over time. For the materials you'll need, I'll leave links in the description. These are 50 milliliter centrifuge tubes. I happen to have some popsicle sticks laying around, but it is optional to use them. You will need some agar agar powder, light malt extract powder, micropore tape, and a wide mouth jar with a modified lid. The first step is to boil the popsicle sticks for about 30 minutes. While the popsicle sticks are boiling, you can start putting two pieces of micropore tape onto the jar lids. After 30 minutes, the popsicle sticks are removed from the water. The water is then measured to make sure that we are retaining at least 500 milliliters for the agar. The water is then returned to the stove to continue boiling. The centrifuge tube caps are removed and the popsicle sticks are added. Now we are going to weigh up 10 grams of light malt extract powder and 10 grams of agar agar powder. Five hundred milliliters of the boiling water is slowly added to the powders and stirred until completely dissolved. It is important to make sure the water is near boiling during this step or the culture slants will end up not solidifying completely. 25 milliliters of the mixture is added into each tube. Make sure to continue stirring the mixture. The caps are tightened and then loosened slightly to allow it to vent.
a small amount of cold water is added to each jar. This water will create steam inside of the jar that is in direct contact with the tubes and ensures complete sterilization. Aluminum foil is now added to the jar lids and then they are sterilized in a pressure cooker for 30 minutes at 15 PSI. Allow the pressure cooker to depressurize naturally and then remove the jars. The jars are then taken to the lab in front of a laminar flow hood or inside of a still air box. The tubes are removed from the jars and placed at a slant to cool for about 3 hours. You can practice getting the perfect slant with water beforehand. After a few hours of cooling down, the culture slant should be completely solidified. I just put a piece of tape on each one, that way I can use a pen to write on them. Mm -hmm. 
you should let the culture slants sit at room temperature for at least one week to make sure they are clean before inoculating. Once you have verified that the culture slants are clean, you can use a flame sterilized tool to transfer wedges from the colonized petri dish to the culture slant. After you have inoculated your culture slants, the lids are tightened and then loosened slightly for gas exchange and then a piece of parafilm is wrapped around the top for extra protection. culture slants are labeled and allowed to colonize at 78 degrees Fahrenheit. After one week of colonizing, you should start to see a nice patch of mycelium. After the culture slants are fully colonized, they will be placed inside of the refrigerator. 
the cold temperature will cause the mycelium to slow down and maintain its viability for potentially many years. Every 12 months they should be removed from cold storage and transfers should be taken to create new culture slants. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.